just a quick follow up of some earlier videos I did. If you saw them, um, you might know that I did some testing on those three inch toothpicks with some very large 1404 motors. I mean, at least large for what these quads weight in total. So both have uh, 77, so this one's 77 gram, this one's 78 grams of dry weight. And 40 grams of this is motor, so roughly, um, roughly 50% or more than 50% of the quad is just motors if you include the weight of the wires. And that means they are very efficient and fast at the same time. But the, the issue I had was that they were simply murdering any battery I threw at them. So what I tested in this earlier video was this tattoo 450 and the tattoo 650 free ass battery and both of them couldn't really sustain the high amp trot that the 1404 had so i had the dys 6000 kv and the flywoo 4850 kv interestingly although the dys has a higher kv the the, the, the flywoo felt more aggressive the reason I suspect for this is simply the magnet. So uh, we try to get this in focus. You can see that the Flywoo has rather thick magnets while the DYS has distinctively thin ones. And I think this is what makes the difference. This is why this one has more power, but also draws my amps so that's more aggressive. And um, back, to my, back to my initial point, I finally found a battery that sustains the amps and that's the GNB 3S650. Now it's interesting that this performs better than the Tattoo 650 because on the 450s, I got the GNB 452, those perform very similar, the Tattoo and the GNB. I couldn't notice much of a difference to be honest. And also both are the same weight. They have a different form factor. I, I prefer this kind of cube shape the Tattoo has, but they perform very similarly. Um, the GNB might be a bit better, but that could also be because my tattoo was already a bit older. But what I noticed is both of these weigh pretty much exactly the same. The GNB is 46 grams and the tattoo is 43 grams, which might be caused also by this extra battery wire the GNB has. So roughly the same weight, but on the 650, the performance difference was very noticeable between the Tattoo and the GNB. But it, it's not much of a surprise if you weight those because the GNB is a whole 10 grams heavier than the Tattoo. So the GNB is around um, 60 grams while this one is just 51 grams. And you can also kind of see this if you compare them, the, the GNB is obviously bigger and just seems to be a more robust, more hefty battery designed for higher amp draw. I suspect that if Tattoo did a 653SR line, it would be pretty similar to this one. So this, this just seems to be an older battery that isn't designed for these crazy amp draws yet. So conclusion, get a 650 GNB if you want to run some of these high powered three inch toothpicks with 1404 or 1304 or any any of these bigger motors and um yeah also I, I found something similar you might remember this two inch build i did with the brother hobbies the 11 and free brother hobby motors with uh, 11,000 kv which i personally found way too high for the two inch on especially on aggressive props it was just killing these very small 300 milliamp hour 2s batteries i threw at them i now converted the build to a toothpick this is a fpv 360 park race that it, i still had just laying around so i used that one and i have to say i prefer this kind of like these amex i have here let me just grab some of them so these are amex 7500 kv and i prefer this kv for two picks 11000 is just a bit much i mean yes it's it's somehow faster 
but not that much because the battery is simply limiting the performance at that point. It's not much faster, but it just kills batteries. I mean, no chance for a 300 milliamp. Um, I used those GNB 450s too, and you just get low battery warnings after less than a minute if you really push the throttle. So I had to go up to a 650 GNB 2S, and that one was fine, and finally with that one also I got good fly times, because you have these high KV are just kind of inefficient, and it's just unsatisfying to get less than two minutes of fly time. So I had to go up to this pretty heavy 650 GNB. That one worked fine, but honestly I think it's just a better, more balanced setup to stick with 7,000 or between 7 and 8,000 KV and a 450 2S. That's better than just going up on the KV. All right, guys, um, I hope you found this useful. As always, uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.